Hi and welcome to MSY Invest Tutorials. I'm going to teach and guide you to understand the dropshipping platform in MSY. This includes order creation, payment, order management, and other processes. Please note that this is for dropshipping customers only. Let's begin. The first thing that we need is to log into our account. Look for my account beside the dropshipping icon. Use the email address and the password that you created when you initially had your account with us. Please note, if you are having some problems accessing your account please contact our customer service or your account specialist. Once you already logged in, notice the dropshipping icon changes from become a dropshipper to connect to my account. This means your account status is a dropshipper and can access our dropshipping platform. Now let's click it and move to the next page. This is the MSY dropshipping page. This page contains information about MSY dropshipping and how our processes work. Let's continue and click access my account. After you click access my account, this will automatically lead you to your personal MSY dropshipping platform. This is your tool for us to fulfill your orders. You can also check the order status and also process returns. Here on the sidebar contains home, dropshipping, MSY account, and exit. This dashboard contains valuable information for you to be guided on the platform. If this is your first time to visit, please take your time to read it. We managed to provide a video tutorial for you to understand the platform easily. Below is the assistant link. It contains usable links that provide information about our dropshipping processes and tools for order fulfillment. We have order template, shipping location, and API documentation. Please note, for security reasons, we blurred the API key and only dropshipper clients are allowed to see this information. Below the assistant link is some important note in order creation. In order creation, all the transmitted data will be saved and protected with the GDPR regulation. If you need to access your MSY account, you can always click this icon on the side and it will redirect to your customer's area on our website. And if you need more help with logistics, you can email us at logistics at msy.be or talk to your assigned sales manager. You may also contact us directly using our chat box, which is located on the left corner of the page. Now let me explain more about the assistant link for you to be guided efficiently with the platform. I'll start with shipping location. Let's click the button. This will automatically download a PDF file. This is what this file would look like. Let me zoom it up. The first two column contains the country codes and the countries that we cater respectively. The next seven color coded column is the shipping rate per kilogram since our rates are based on weight. The last column is the delivery time which varies from country and this number is categorized into days. Please note, our shipping location is initially from our warehouse in Belgium. In order to provide you with the best price for deliveries, we have two shipping provider which is the DPD and GLS. Now allow me to discuss API documentation. This is a tool that provides an automatic data feed to your store. This is our API dashboard. Inside are all the necessary snippets and information about our database. Here is our MSY ID. And here is our API key. Only dropshipping clients are allowed to access and view this code. Let me discuss now about the order template. This is the only tool that will help you upload all of your orders. After clicking the button, this will automatically download an XML file. Let's open it. And this is the XML files look like. This is very easy to use and very straightforward to fill out. Okay, let's take a closer look. In the name column, put the full name of your customer. In the contact column, put the contact person if there would be any. The address column is where you put the first address line that gives specifics. 
under the order number column, put the order number that is assigned by your shop upon ordering. The postal code column is where you put the postal code of your customer. The city column is the customer's city location. In the country column, this requires the ISO country code, not the country itself in the word form. You can always Google it or you can always check it through the shipping location PDF file. Let me show you. On the left panel are the country codes and their associated countries. Please make sure you put the code correctly. Again, please it needs to be the code. The phone number column is where you put the phone number starting with the area code. Put the customer's email address here. Then here is the EAN code, the SKU and the last is the quantity. These three need to be very accurate too since they may cause order errors. Let me quickly fill up the column and create an example for you to be guided. Here is the name. Then the contact. The address, the order number, the postal code, the city, the country code, the phone number, and the email address. Then let me start with the SKU. I will show you a simple trick to have the EAN accurately, and it works in both ways. Let me go out and go to our customer account by clicking the MSY account logo. This goes directly to your customer account in MSY and can also be accessed through our website. On your customer account, let's check these icons below. Let me click this button under XML and it will open another tab with our XML data feed. Once it loads, it will look like this. Now let me go back and grab my SKU. Then let's search for the SKU. This will highlight the SKU along with the product information in the feed. On this data group, let's scroll down and search for the item EAN. Let's highlight the number only and copy it. Now let's go back to the XML file and paste it. Please make sure the column for the EAN is set in numbers without the decimal points. If it's not yet set up, follow this procedure. For the last column, let's add the quantity of the order. And let's wrap it up by saving the file. Congratulations! You successfully fill out the order form and we can proceed to the next step. Let us go to the dashboard. On the sidebar, click on the word dropshipping. Then click new order. Now it's time to upload the order. Please note, please make sure that you are uploading the correct file so that it won't cause some error and we deliver your order accurately. Let me show you what I mean. Here is the error message for uploading the wrong file. Let me upload the correct one now. Here is the sample order that we created. Please check if all the info is correct. If not, please delete and re-upload the file. If all the information is correct, we can start to process the payment. Now, let's click Place Orders. Then a message box will appear. Once it loads up, Click the colored letter where it says click here. Let's open it. For your convenience, we have the following mode of payments. Back card with multi-safe pay. Payment through credit card and PayPal. Direct bank deposit. And PayPal Express checkout. Before confirming anything, please check that all the info is correct. You may also add side notes of specific comments about the delivery for preference. For this example, I will choose direct bank deposit. Then accept the terms and conditions and legal information by clicking the tick box. To confirm, let's click finalize my order. Now this leads you to the validation page. This is what the validation page looks like. Here is the final step of placing the order. 
This is also the last page where you can check, add, and edit something in your order. Once everything looks okay, let's click confirm my order. Congratulations! You successfully processed the order. Since you already understand the assistant links, successfully created an order and processed the payment, allow me to guide you in the order tab and how to cancel an order. Let's start. On the dashboard of your account, check the sidebar where it says dropshipping. Click it and a dropdown will appear. Then look for the word orders and click it. This will lead you to the order page. Once you are already on the order page, look for the button where it says search, then click it, and all of your orders will appear. As you may see, everything is in a column and organized for you to understand the data easier. Everything is very straightforward. Now the one thing that we need to be particular about is the status of its order. We only categorized it into three statuses. We have the dispatched, which means the order came in just now and this data is on the way to the warehouse. We have the in transit, which means the order is with the courier and it is on the way to the customer. And we have the delivered, which means the parcel has already been delivered. This status changes abruptly once you upload the order since we are very particular with time and we are offering same-day shipping. For your convenience, we provide you with other sources of information for your company's documentation. All of the orders can be downloaded in an XML format. Just click this icon. After clicking this icon, it will download an XML file. Here is the sample of your order in XML format, it contains all of the information that you need regarding all of your orders. Now let's trace your order and check the status from the courier's perspective. Let's look for an example. As you may see this has already been delivered, below is a clickable colored code. Let's click it. This will automatically go to the courier's platform, allowing you to check without opening their site. This way you can track and trace and also answer all your customers' inquiries regarding the status of the parcel. This dashboard for the courier changes depending on the courier who handles the delivery and for this one, it was done by GLS. Now, if a certain customer would like to cancel the order or they would want to return the product, let me teach you how to process it. Let's start. Let's go back to the test order that we created under the order tab. Look for the reciprocating arrows sign and click it. Then a message box will appear. This is the return request form. What we need to do here is to put the return reason. As an example, you can put something like this. You would need to fill this up for you to proceed to the next step. Please make sure to put the real reason why the customer would want to cancel the order. As your business partner, we would like also to know and understand those reasons. As we aim for an excellent service, these reasons are very valuable to us. Once it's done, let's click Request Return. A message box will pop up confirming the request is being processed. Then click the Close button. Now let's try to check the status of your return or cancellation request. On the sidebar, under Dropshipping click Returns Management. This is the Return Management page. This is where you check and follow up on your return request. If you hover your mouse on this page icon, you will see the reason for your return request. Please note, once we receive the parcel, our dedicated warehouse personnel will control and check up the items. Then we will inform our logistics department. After that, they will update the status of your return request. This is all you need to know regarding the MSY dropshipping platform. Just for a recap, we learned how helpful the notes on the dashboard. We also understand what are the assistant links and how to use them. We learned how to create an order and process the payment. We know how to interpret the status of the order. And we learn how to process return or cancellation requests. Thank you for choosing MSY Invest as your business partner. See you soon.